Hey guys, welcome, and this is my second video, and I am going to be comparing Grand Peace Online and Blocks Fruits. Now hang tight, because it's going to be a pretty long video, and you're probably only going to be seeing this if you care about either of the games, because, well, why would you watch it otherwise? And Grand Peace Online is, so first I'm going to give you uh, give you an overview of both games. Grand Peace Online is a new game that came out a few days ago, I think it came out um, 10 days ago, I'm pretty sure. Create well, okay. That's not when it came out. That's when it came out on Roblox, but like it didn't it wasn't playable yet. It came out. I'm pretty sure ten days ago, and it got updated last today because it literally has an update like every day since it's in paid access, early paid access right now. So the game is 300 Robux. I have already bought it. That's why you don't see it right there. And um, it's only 300 Robux because of like it's still in paid access early. It's not, like, for everybody, like, the game's not done yet, so you can't really judge it yet, because whatever you see now, there's probably going to be a lot of bugs and a lot of other things, so you can't really judge it right now, and I'm going to go into block search, and for the video, I'm going to buy a private server, because I do not want to deal with people in the video, so, boom. Boom. Save. There we go. Alright. So, first we're going to go into Grand Peace Online and just show you the intro for it. So, we're going in. And I'm going to pause it really quick and I'll be right back. Alright, well, I'm back and we are in Grand Peace Online. So, whenever you first join, you will have this. And it's going to say Play. And you can click Customize and Set Sail. If it's your first time, you should definitely click Customize. Alright, well I paused it there really quick because the, it was really loud and I bet you could barely hear me. So now you can hear my voice better and um, I hope you can still hear the game, I hope. And so whenever you first go in, you're gonna click, you are gonna want to click customize. And then it'll take you to this. And this is how my avatar looks in the game. And I was super lucky and I got Fishman and I didn't spend any Robux at all. And so here over here, this is the most important part, which is your race. So you can either be human, Skypean, Fishman, or Mink. Mink, basically what it does, it lets you have a stamina boost, and it lets you have um, the electro fighting style, and it gives you like little bunny ears. Like you see on my skin, I'm blue and I have gills and everything, and yeah, that's because I'm a Fishman. And to be honest, Fishman is my favorite, and I was really happy when I saw that because that's what I wanted to get. And I'm really happy about that. So Fishman, what it does, it gives you a health boost. I'm not exactly sure how much, but it's a pretty good amount. And um, and it lets you, it gives you water kung fu fighting. So basically, it's just a normal combat, but with um, water added. And I think that's it for now, but I'm not sure because the game still came first came out. I'm pretty sure you swim faster eventually, and you'll take less damage to the water if you have a block fruit. But right now, there's no difference. And so. Over here you can change your hair, this is how mine looks, I would have changed it, but there's not really any better options in my opinion. So you can change it, I have 51 and 6, like this is 52, like, come on, you can't tell me that looks better, like, ugh. And yeah, so, you can change your hair, I, mean, I have it on 51 and 6, just because that's my favorite. Over here, you can change all that, you can change your shirt, pants, shoes, eyes, mouth, everything. And your skin color. See, since I'm a fish man, I only have certain options. Like, these are the only options I have. All of those. So I have... Um, I have red. Red skin. Because apparently they're a red fish. Um, and then a darker red. And a light blue. A dark blue, which is what I use. A light green. And a white. So, I use the dark blue. That's just my favorite. And... Whenever you're done with that, you're going to want to click finish, but since I'm in a private server, I'm going to click on private server, and I have to put this in here. Also, in Grand Peace Online, whenever you, like, how I bought a private server... Oh, I just changed the code by mistake. That was not so smart. G Sorry, there we go. So now I'm going into the server. You're going to have to wait a little bit while it loads. And a really good thing about um, Grand Peace Online is that with the early paid access, you will have 
there's a code that comes out like every single day and those are really useful because like there's a fruit notifier which is 9,000 robux to get it all and all right here so i'm in shells town right now i am going to go to the beginner island because that's where you would be and i will pause it really quick and come right back all right so i have gone to where you spawn in whenever you first come here and you will spawn in here you will not have a sword or a fruit or anything like that all you'll have is um a fighting style and i don't have that fighting style anymore because well i have a sword and a fruit and yeah so you're gonna wanna yeah so really that's that's just how you spawn in and i really like the customization feature because it's not like you use your roblox avatar you use your own thing and like each race has different body parts and it's really nice so let me let me know what you guys think about the beginning and at the very beginning where it said like customize and set sail if you don't want to change your character anymore and you already know your race and everything you can go to um set sail and that'll just take you straight to the game and now we're going to go to block fruits and see how you start out when you go there so i'm going to pause it and we'll be right there all right well i'm in now and this is block fruits blocks fruits so here you can either choose to be a pirate or you can be choose to be a marine and i personally recommend pirates because it's just that makes the game a lot more fun but yeah so there we go and i am also a fishman in bloxford so that little fin on my back will not be there when you spawn in and all right so whenever you first spawn in you're gonna spawn in right here i spawned in here only because um i'm in the new world which i will explain later and so you spawn here and you're gonna want to just like chill because all you'll have is a fighting style and i'm pretty sure you'll have what else will you have? i think that's it just the fighting style yeah and yeah so that's really all it is for box roots you don't get to customize your character or anything like you did in the other one and you also have a random spawn race like a race but i rarely ever see anybody spawn in as a fishman or a mink it is super rare and I think I, I I know like 10 people who play this game like frequently and or at least that I know like a lot about them and all of them spawned in ex except as as a human except for my friend's sister she spawned in as a Skypean which is the second worst well not really second worst but like it's the easiest second one to get I've never seen anybody spawn in as a fish or spawn in as, as a mink even just like coming here and just seeing all the noobs that spawn I've never seen a fishman or a mink so that is really rare and now we're going to go into the quest system and since we're already in blocks fruits i guess we'll just start off with that so in blocks fruits first off this guy right here he's going to be on every single island and he whenever you talk to him he, you're going to set your spawn there and this guy he over here he's a blocks fruit dealer and you talk to him and like you can buy fruits and well, actually, here, we'll go into this later, because that's going to be a different section. And here's the sword dealer. Both of these swords are the exact same. They have the exact same moves and everything, except for the fact that they look different. The one on the top is the katana, the one on the bottom is the cutlass. So, then what you do, you get a quest. That's just, like, all you do. You get a quest, and you go and you come for bandits, and then you go around and you defeat all five bandits. And I'm going to one-shot them, but it's not going to be one-shotting for you, because it's going to be hard. And so you one-shot boom boom easy all right and so you you defeat five i just defeated three let me defeat five and then you get you you finish the quest that'll probably make you go up like three levels even though it did literally nothing for me and then you grind here you get money you can buy a fruit or a sword you get skills on your sword and everything and that's basically like the tutorial and yeah that's really it for blocks fruits there's more to it in grand piece online i'm gonna go there and talk to you about the beginning and the quests and everything there Did it not pause? Okay, well that was weird because it didn't pause, but yeah. Alright, I'm gonna...
to them. Alright, so we're back, and here we are back in Grand Peace Online. And so whenever you go in, you can click play, and then you would click set sale. But since I'm in the private server, I'm going to click on private server, and then put in this code right here. And boom, teleporting. I'm going to pause it really quick while it goes in. Alright, so here we are. We're loading in, loading data. Uh, I've. Okay, well, big circles are popping up and down. And it's loading. It's taking a while to load, actually. It usually takes a lot less time. Alright, so here we are. And I set my spawn here so that I wouldn't have to drive my boat all the way back and so first off let's talk about the controls because on blocks first the controls are very simple it's just in blocks first you run and then you click Q and you dash and uh, that's it really then you click control to start running but in grand piece online there are way more controls so first off you have to double click W and you start running if you just click it once or you hold it down you're just gonna walk like this but if you double click it you run and Q makes you do this like roll forward and it's really cool because if you go sideways and then you roll it does like this really nice animation like that's really cool look at that wait so yeah it has a really nice animation I really I really enjoy that and yeah it's just nice so then another control that many people don't know is whenever you go to, to a wall you can click control and just hold it up and you'll start walking up this also works it works in the ocean, I will show you guys that later. And boom. And over here, right here, there will be a little chest that will spawn, so you can get some money from there. And then, let's talk about the quests in Grand Peace Online. So the, in Grand Peace Online, all the quests, for, first off, this guy named Robo, he's on every island and you set your spawn with him. And then, there's also going to be a girl. I don't think she's on this island because it's the beginner island. I will show you if we go to a different island. She sells you an eternal pose and basically it points you to that island wherever you are. So right now I have the eternal pose to this island that I'm on. So it's like telling me to go to like the middle. Even though like I'm already there so there's not really a way for me to already go there. It just like tells you the general direction and where you have to go. So then over here there's this girl over here she's the first quest you should do she's sniffle sniffle please help me I lost my necklace while I was running away from those bandits find it for me I beg of you I'll give you a reward if you bring it back thank you so much alright and then so you have to look for the necklace oh wow okay it was really lucky for me because it just spawned literally right here and okay so you pick it up and then you get the, get the necklace and you just give it to her so you talk to her again uh, and another thing, when they, whenever you like click talk to them, you don't just go up there and click. You have to click T, and it starts talking with them. And there's also a quest cooldown, so like, uh, right, like she just said, like I can't do the quest again. And okay, for me the first time though, whenever I did that quest, the necklace spawned all the way over here, around this area. And another place I've seen it spawn uh, is up there, like right on the tip of that. But for me, that spawned literally right there, so. That's nice. And then she's the main quest here because she gives you, uh, Hello. you talk to her and she's like, hey, I'm Raftalia and welcome to my island. You're a new traveler, right? And yeah, and a bunch of stuff. And oh, uh, can you please help me? Bandits are bad. Gotta go fight them. And you're gonna go over here and bandits are actually pretty strong. And one thing that you're really gonna need to do is look here. So if I just start attacking him, like first off, he attacks me. And if I just attack him, okay, well that, if I attack him without moving, Wait a second. I'm confused. Alright. Usually if you attack them without moving... Okay, well usually they will block it and they'll guard it so you won't be able to attack them. And for me it's pretty easy. It's not as easy as you saw in Blocks Roots because I have just got Grand Peace Online yesterday so I'm not that good at it. But yeah, so you kill five bandits and in Blocks Roots the best way to grind is to do like all of them at once. Like you see how he just blocked it? It's because I didn't run at him while I was doing it. If you run at him while you're doing it, it's better. And then, yeah, so you kill all the five bandits. I missed, well. And then, oh, and the bandit boss is coming after me. That's a different quest. I do not want to fight you. I'm going to turn invisible so he doesn't fight me. Alright, and then, so after you do that and you get a few levels, this guy over here, he, you talk to him and he gives you a shovel. And the shovel is how much? 
one wooden shovel. But see, in this game, you don't talk to him and he buys you a shovel. You talk to him and he tells you about the shovel. And then the shovel right here, you click on the shovel. And then it says like 50 pelly. I already have it, so I don't need another one. And whatever, like you see this big sand pile right there? You basically, you dig that up. And this one's smaller, so I'm going to do it on this one. You basically you just dig it up. And I'm going to pause it really quick and come back. Okay, so it's pretty small now. And, um... Alright, so it's pretty small now, and what you do, you just get the shovel, and you come over here, and you just do this. And one more time. And it takes five energy, or five stamina every time you do it, and it takes a while, actually. It's pretty slow. That's why I paused it, because I don't didn't want to make the video too long. So then you talk to him, and then you get the shovel, and that's just a way of getting money. It only gives you 50, but that's actually a pretty good amount for a person who just started. And if you dig up a lot of those, you can get a good amount of money. So then this guy over here, his name is Ronnie. You talk to him, and he gives you a bandit boss quest, and the bandit boss is right there, and he has a drop. He, he gives you the eye patch, which I already have. You just put it on your eye, and it gives you five health, so, I mean, it's pretty nice. Like, when you take it off, my health goes down to 145 over here. It goes 145 to 150, so it's not, like, a huge buff or anything, but it's, it's still nice. I do not want to fight you. The invisibility thing I have is just a fruit. It's the worst fruit in the game, but it's still a fruit. So now I'm fighting the bandit boss... And I'm just going to try to kill him. Oh, and the thing I just did where I jumped up and hit him, whenever you're clicking space while you're fighting them, sometimes it'll do that. And what is that thing right there? Okay, that's just a little dot in the floor. I don't want to fight you. All right, I'm just going to run away because I don't want to fight them. And so, yeah, that's basically the quest system for Grand Piece Online. And the thing that I like about it is that there's multiple quests. Like this girl, she you, give, you fi have to find her necklace. Her, you have to find the, the bandit boss. Or, you have to find the bandits, and then, um, this guy gives you the bandit boss quest, and whenever you kill the bandit boss, they'll drop the eye patch, which is nice, and I don't think it's a 10% or anything, I think it's a 100% chance, and another really cool addition is that you can, like, walk into the buildings, and some of the buildings, they have, like, shops, like, I don't remember exactly which one has it, so I'm just gonna go through them all and look, and I'm pretty sure... Here, there's a gun shop somewhere. I don't think it's this one. It is. Is it? All right. Well, I'm gonna pause it really quick and go look for all the shops and then come back. Okay. So this one right here is one of the shops and it has a red flag on it. And I think that makes it a shop. I'm not sure though because yeah. So you go in here and it's the gun shop. Wait. Or no, it's not. It's the. What shop is this? Yeah, it is the gun shop. I was right. Huh. Alright, so if you talk to Lily, like, she says I'm the gun seller, and if you want to buy one. But you have to go over here and click on a gun. And I actually don't have a gun. How expensive are they? 300 pelly. Okay, money is really, really valuable in this game. So, like, even though it's only 300 pelly and I have 6,000, I'm not buying it. Because I don't need it, and I won't really use it much. And even though it'll be pretty useful, I'm not, like, ever going to use it. So I need to keep that money, because the money is really valuable. So... Yeah, and then this is the gun shop, and I'm gonna... There's one other shop. There's, like, a health potion and a stamina potion shop. And I think it's somewhere around here. Or maybe it's not even in this place. No, no, it is. I think it was over here, on the side. This house? No. Oh, maybe it's that house over there. I'm pretty sure it's that house over there. Oh yeah, because he has the green flag. Alright, so that's just a tip to where the shops are. Wait, it's not even a shop. Well, it is a shop, but it's like empty. Oh, maybe they're going to add a new shop over here or something? I don't know. I'm not going to look for the other shop, but all you do is it just uh, lets you have like potions and health potions and stamina potions. You can buy them. And another thing to note about Grand Peace Online is over here it says version 0.24. And what that is basically, so if you join an old server... It will not have as much to give you. Like, the so, it, okay, say they update the game and they add a new fruit to the game. That fruit, if it's like version 0 0.1, it's definitely not going to be there because it was added in a certain version. And most servers are up to date, but not all of them are. Like, I yesterday I joined a server that was 0 0.18, and yesterday uh, the, the highest one was 0 0.22. And they update the game frequently, and I think every, like, two versions or something, they give you, like, free codes. Like, as of making this video today, and it'll expire tomorrow at 6 a.m., uh, November 24th, 
you can do two codes. I'm not going to do them right now. And the first one is... Actually, what is it? Oh, yeah. It, it's shut. So, apparently, there was some shutdown. And they did something with that. So, they gave you this, the code. Shutdown notifier. Basically, this... Uh, what it does, it gives you a fruit notifier. And we're going to talk about that later. And it's really useful. And the other one is shutdown reset sp free so this right here will reset your stat points i don't want to use it right now because i might get a good fruit today and i will use it there so basically over here you go and it has all your stat points right now i'm level 30 so i have 30 on stamina 30 on defense and 30 on sword mastery and actually since we're on this topic uh let's talk about the stat points for grand piece online and box fruits so here in uh in grand piece online there's strength which is zero because i don't use a fighting style i don't need it but at the beginning you're going to want to put points on strength because that's like the only thing you're going to have and you're going to want to use that and then stamina that is on 30 because if i had no stamina i would never be able to like dash or anything and i wouldn't be able to use any of the moves because these moves require stamina look if i click e which is my favorite move that i have on my sword it goes it takes 20 stamina so if i have no stamina i wouldn't be able to use any moves and it's not good defense makes your health go up which is obviously very important devil fruit right now i have it at zero because my fruit sucks and literally all it does is let you turn invisible and then you can throw a rock like oh my god you can throw a rock and i actually think i just found the shop yeah i just found the shop Wow, okay. So, here is the shop that I was looking for earlier, and it has, like, a green bottle and a blue bottle. The blue bottle is a stamina drink, the green one is a health drink, and they're pretty wasteful, because you can just wait, and it'll go up. But yeah, so, basically, if a house has a flag on it, it's a store. And I don't think this... I don't know why this isn't a store yet, but I think it will, because there's, like, a person... There'll probably be a person over here, and they'll be selling something, so that'll probably come in a future update. I'm not sure, though. And... Yeah, so, back to the stat points. I have nothing on Devil Fruit just because my Devil Fruit is useless and making your invisibility better does not make your invisibility better. So, if you have Suki, unless you, like, really, really want to use it. Suki Suki is the clear, clear fruit, just to make sure that's the one I have. It's definitely the worst fruit, like, no matter what. Gun Mastery, guns are not that good, but... If you want to use guns only and snipe people from really far away, go ahead. You can put your stat points on gun. And what I use for damage, the only thing I use for damage is my sword. So, um, that's why I have that on 30. So, I have these three even, which I'm going to keep doing that until I get a good devil fruit. Then I might... I don't know if I'll take off this points on sword or put it even on both, but, uh, yeah, eventually I'll do that. And now we're going to go over to, um box roots and talk about that but before i go uh to box roots all i'm gonna say is that every single level you go up you get three stat points this is both in grand piece online and box roots so you get three stat points and you can put it on each one and you get um stat points and so basically whenever i started uh and whenever you start you're gonna be doing a pro like i think two damage per hit and now since i put stat points on sword and everything i See, like, I, I wasn't running at him, and he blocked all of them. So you always run at them, and then you do it. And now I do seven. And the sword, I will... Well, I'm not going to talk about that. I'll make a video separately. If this gets enough likes, and you guys actually want to know more about Grand Piece Online, then I will make some videos about Grand Piece Online, how to buy swords and everything. And if you guys like, like um... Box fruits more, and you want me to make more Box fruits videos, which I was already intending to do, I will do that, and I will make more... Box fruits videos and yeah. Also, okay, another thing before I go is this guy right here. This is how you buy ships in box fruits. I'll show you how you buy the ships and right here. So basically, there's a rowboat over here, which is the worst boat. It's only 75 pelly, and then there's also a bigger boat, which is a pretty good boat, and it has 2,000 pelly. Not, not. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. And there's this Denden Den Mushi, which basically it's a phone, like legit, it's a phone. Because in this uh, game, whenever you talk. Like, hi, hi, hi. Uh, other people can't see it unless they're right next to me. Like, it doesn't show up in a chat box or anything. So if you have the Denda and Mushi, you can talk to other people. Like, if somebody's on a different island or something, I can talk to them through that. And it'll basically have a conversation. And then wood, um, this is to fix your ship. And so basically, whenever you... Here, I'm going to spawn my ship. I have the 2,222 Robux ship. Yes, yeah, it's just a very random one. And if you guys know One Piece and want to watch One Piece, which you should, you should definitely watch One Piece. I really recommend it. This is Hawkeye Mihawk's boat. And so basically, um, 
Whenever you go onto sand, like if I run my boat onto sand, it'll start taking damage. I don't want to do that because I need to save my money. But um, it'll go onto sand, and then you take out your hammer, which you buy at that guy over there, and you can like fix it. I have 66 planks right now, and um, if my ship gets damaged, I would just hold. I would just click, or I would hold. I don't remember, and it would do that, and it would fix the ship for me, and the health will go up. And also, if the help health is down, then your ship is a lot slower like my speed is 85 this is definitely the fastest boat in the game but um yeah so your boat will go down like if i have it on 600 health it'll probably go at like 83 speed and yeah so then the eternal pose is pointing me over there now because the island is over there and yeah now i'm gonna go over to blocks fruits and tell you guys more about the ship system over there and everything else i'm gonna pause it really quick and then go over there Alright, so we're back in Box Fruits, and now I'm going to choose Pirate, as I always do, because I have literally nothing as Marine. And we're going to go and... Also, whenever you do a dash, it automatically makes you run. So, as I was talking about, like, the controls earlier. And, yeah, so... Uh, let's go over to the... So, right here, just like how I bought that expensive boat that you're not going to be able to use in... Um, Unless you buy, pay Robux for it. There's also that in Blocks Fruits, which I have already bought. And so these two boats right here, they're the fastest boats in the game. This one's obviously better, because you have to pay for it. And it's the fastest boat in the game, and it's 350 Robux. Whereas in the other one, and it gives you both of them. Whereas in the other one, in the, uh, Grand Piece Online, you have to spend 2,222 Robux for the coffin boat. And it's, yeah, it's, it's really expensive. So, I mean, yeah. And so, yeah, we're in the boat now, and... We're sailing around, and here, a, a thing that I really need to point out is that in Blocks Fruits, like, look at, look at, I can see all the islands around me. I'm gonna make that go away. So, like, that that's the desert island right there, the fountain island, prison, all of these different islands. Like, I can see them, I can know where I'm going. In Grand Peace Online, the whole point of the eternal pose is that you need to, like, see the direction, because you don't know, like, you can't see them from all the way over there. And they're also really far apart from each other. Like, these two islands, they're really close. Like, you can see that, they're very close to each other. In Grand Peace Online, they're very far away from each other. And... Yeah, so, over here, whenever you go to stat points, and I go here, stats... So, I am level 751. Obviously, that's a big difference from what I am in Grand Peace Online, because I started Grand Peace Online yesterday, and yeah. So, there's like melee, defense, sword, gun, block through. So, basically, in the other one, there was uh, melee damage and stamina. So, basically, melee over here is both of them. So, like, it's kind of better in a sense, but it's also nicer, like, that you can have nothing on your physical thing. And, yeah, and then defense is health, it's the same as the other one, and then gun and sword, same as the other one. Except for the fact that, um, in Blocks Fruits, there's a difference between mastery and skill points. So in Blocks Fruits, like, my mastery level is 223, but my stat points is 700, no, on sword, okay, this is actually my Blocks, blocks Fruit, it's 751. And then plus 74 is because of my mastery. And so that's a really nice addition that they don't have in Grand Peace Online yet, or maybe they will never have. And yeah, so over here when I like attack, it does more damage. And like over here when I attack, like my, you see how my mastery went up there? It barely goes up because I'm fighting like bandits, but if it, it'll go up like just a tiny bit. And the more master you have, the more moves you unlock. On the other, on Grand Peace Online, the more stat points you put on something, then you go and you talk to the person you bought the thing from, and you then you learn more. So, I think the next thing, there's not really much to do with the ships, which we talked about in Grand Peace Online. It's just, you go over here, and you talk to this dude, and you can buy this boat for free, or you can buy that for $300, or you can buy basic or brigade. And that's basically it. Like, that's literally how it is the whole game. Whenever you get to the new world, you can buy different boats and everything. And, yeah, so... I think... I'm gonna end this video right now. Because it's already getting pretty long. And I think I'm just gonna call it a part one. I will create a part two later on. And tell me in the comments if you guys want me to do more about uh, Box Roots and Grand Peace Online. And tell you guys more about how they're different. Because... I, I haven't even, like, touched the surface yet. I'm still on the tip of the iceberg because I've barely even gone into, like, the fruits or anything like that, the systems, but the video is already getting really long because it takes a while to explain them. And, 
Yeah, so just tell me guys, tell me guys, uh, no, tell me, yeah, tell me in the comments if you want more, if you want a part two, which, I mean, I'm gonna make a part two, even if you don't want it, because it's kind of weird if you just make a part one and then never continue, but I'm gonna make a part two and I will continue off from here. Now I'm gonna go edit the video so you guys can go and enjoy it as uh, my second video on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.